Excuse me. Hey everyone, it's Clown Skull here. Um, we're just going to go through the mission information here. I forgot to add this in. This is all being done in post. So this mission is Lightfoot, which takes place in Iraq. And basically, what we're doing is we're trying to locate the fourth nuke, which is actually the final one. And it's been codenamed Lightfoot. And we have to infiltrate General Armu's base, who is uh, supposedly going to be giving this nuke to uh, Saddam Hussein, who was actually alive at the time of the making of this game. So uh, there's some really shady stuff going on with nuclear weapons here. So we're going to take some armor, grenades, and plastiques, but we'll never use those. Um, and we'll also take the Silver Talon Desert Eagle and the submachine gun. And we're going to leave those two blocks uh, empty. I rock. Fuck yeah. It's like the most accurate representation of Iraq ever. Oh yeah, definitely. So we start off in this little room. I, uh, I'll edit it back in, but I forgot to put in the video where I show what equipment I take. So we've got the Desert Eagle and the Submachine Gun, and I'll show you why we haven't taken another weapon in a sec. Oh, well, a bit later, I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, Chuck and John Mull in the middle of Iraq, and pretty much Iraq's fucked. Yeah, exactly. And uh, one one of the uh, one of the the boasting points of uh, the Iraq mission is respawning enemies. Oh yes, joy, just what we need. And there's also these uh, big tanky motherfuckers wearing like full armor suits, and they're a real pain in the ass to take down. And you can only really do it with armor-piercing weapons, so that's why I took the uh, Desert Eagle, because it cuts them down pretty easily. These guys do like diving out of the way and stuff. They do, it's pretty awesome, and it never even makes any sense. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say, I'm pretty sure real Iraqis don't do that. They just tend to cow behind stuff and blind fire a lot. I wouldn't know. <laughs> What's he doing up there? Yeah, it's, it's like he's teabagging that wall. Yeah, it was, it was glitched out. Stupid civilians. So this is some good Half-Life style. The secret area? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually where you meant to go. <laughs> no. Yeah, it, it makes complete sense. Jeez, you could get lost. Like, you'd be like, where the hell am I meant to go? Yeah, it is like that. And, um, this room's a pain in the ass if you just jump down, because there's a guy at every single entrance, and they can just sandwich you with bullets. Like, that guy has an insta-death sniper. Did you pick it up, or no, I'm does it just drop and fade away? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. And another one spawns behind you, which is awesome. Not like that guy. I oh, know. I thought you were going for a little silent just knife at him. Oh, whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I drop down this sniper rifle that I accidentally picked up, I can then get the rocket launcher. And I'm gonna have to drop the Desert Eagle as well. Fuck. Alright, here we go, the rocket launcher. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, this is far too futuristic for them. What happened to RPGs? You might recognize this rocket launcher from the movie Commando. <laughs> John, there's no time to waste. General Amu's military base is adjacent to an airfield. And you think Lightfoot's getting on a plane? If it takes off, we may not find it before it is detonated in downtown New York. Where's the disguise? 
It's in there. Stay clear of people and don't draw your weapons. You should be fine. Escape up the ladder to the roof. I love that at the end there. Escape up the ladder to the roof, and then he runs off in this really goofy <laughs> animation. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, what's the running? <laughs> he runs like a girl. So, I've, uh, this is the, uh, the stealth section of Soldier of Fortune. God, here we go. Very yeah, but stealthy here. <laughs> Basically, what we've done is we've disguised ourselves as one of the, one of the civilians. But, I don't get it, because we still look American. But whatever, we're st we're gonna walk around. And if no one gets too close to us, then they're not going to be able to tell that it's John Mullins. So we just got to walk around and fuck, I forgot to edit this video. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Anyway. So you just... What's the go? You just jump through the windows and shit and uh, avoid people. Like this guy, if you just like, walk around him. Ah. Yeah, the the reason there's black bars, I mean, like, people viewing it won't be able to see it because I'll fix it up, but it's just, uh, I forgot to fix one of the videos in Camtasia. Ah. I forgot to widescreen it. <laughs> What's he they do have subtitles down the bottom, I don't know if you can read them or not. I could just see it. Basically, I suppose our viewers would see it better than I can, but yeah. Yeah. Well, basically what he was saying was, uh, I need to see your ID. And John Mullen's form of ID is a submachine gun. <laughs> Here's my ID, motherfucker. <laughs> and you want to jump, yeah, down through this window as quickly as you can, because there's a rocket launcher guy there. And he will fuck you up, but he can't shoot rockets through that gate, so it's all good. Heavily body armored rocket launcher guy. Fuck yeah. And, uh, like, I'm really sorry that I keep using this submachine gun. It's like the only weapon you ever get to see. But, uh, later on, we will be using a variety of weapons. And it's, um, it's funny that you said that. It, the rocket launcher looked a bit futuristic because we're actually going to be getting a few sci-fi guns later on. Ah, oh, sweet. I mean, these Iraqis are pretty sophisticated for what they are in this game. <laughs> like, what were they thinking? Like, they do rolls and shit, and, like, have massive body armor and rocket launchers that are, like, not even supposed to be, like, what they're supposed to have. Like, what happened to the good old AK? Uh, I don't know. Like, I I don't I don't play any of the recent like first-person shooters where like it's all Iraq based. So I don't know what it's like over there in terms of uh, realism, quote unquote. But uh, yeah, this game it's pretty good, I reckon. Yeah. Just a dead sniper around the corner. I want to go and call for a Civilian caught a bullet in the head. Yeah. It's like, if, if this is. If, if Team America was the first person shooter, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> and killing civilians, that doesn't do anything? Or? Uh, it does if you kill them. Like, if you kill, I think. Three civilians, uh, you'll just automatically fail the mission. But they uh, they didn't include any failing the mission cutscene or anything. You just die instantly whenever you kill the last civilian. Ah, oh, pretty harsh. <laughs> it's really stupid. Yeah, and you can actually see the bullet holes in the wall to your left. Like that's how bad that guy was aiming. <laughs> At least they got the aiming right. <laughs> Just reminding you we so have a So, do we get to see a tank? 
Yeah, there will be tanks in the next video. But yeah, I know you're excited to see this rocket launcher. Yes, I am. <laughs> and oh, he's already someone's I, up. I think I threw a grenade. But they're so small, uh. it's hard to see in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, that guy just came out of nowhere. He's about almost shot you there. Did he have a Desert Eagle? Uh, no, I had to throw it away because of the rocket launcher takes up. Like... No, no, no. Is that... No, that guy back there. The guy that like, ran around the corner. The Desert Eagle. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, lucky to get hit by that. Ow. Whoa. Yeah, well, that hurt a bit. That does a lot of damage. It does. Like, did you have body armor? Now you yeah, don't. Yeah, I did. And here we go. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. And I think I'm going to jump down there and show... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they just turn into a puddle of blood. They completely, dis <laughs> they completely disintegrate when you hit them with a rocket. <laughs> you think? <laughs> At least they got that right. Yeah, well, it's it's the easiest way to get rid of the uh, the body armor guys. Yeah. Cause if you don't have a Desert Eagle, just have rockets well, spare. The Desert Eagle can fuck up because they do have <laughs> they they do have different amounts of armor, and Hawk just completely destroyed that guy. They do have different amounts of armor, but you can't really <laughs> tell. Yeah. Bad animation, he jumps in the back of that the petrol tanker. Yeah, you can even see the truck through the fog there, like, they didn't get rid of the model quick enough, it's just sitting there behind the fog. <laughs> Iraqi flag there. Yeah, I get raped here, it's pretty good. Oh, I gave it away, sorry. <laughs> Better edit that out. Like, check this guy out. Whoa! So, yeah, naturally I start panicking here because I don't remember the last time I saved and I don't want to have to fucking redo all this. Yeah. I notice that uh, your f field of view when you're playing changes here and there. Yeah, that that's. Uh, What's with that? Yeah, that's just me fucking up in uh, the video editing. Uh, I just because what I do is the uh, Fraps records it in um, in full screen, and then I manually just stretch the video out so that it fills up. And you don't have any black bars, but yeah, obviously I did a really dodgy job on this video. Yeah. Well, now for Iraq Part Two. I think there's a death ray. We will or, see you shortly. Some shit. Oh, 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 oh. wait. Yeah, something here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the crap out. I think anyone would get scared by Hawk. Uh, dang, I forgot I left that in there. I think we're going to have to sit through that cutscene again. I'm going to have to edit that out. I did a, re I, I did a really shitty job. Oh, well. I did a really shitty job on this video. <laughs> oh, well.